Grant Wood was a regionalism artist from Iowa who focused on painting rural America. His landscapes feature rolling hills, bountiful fields, and idyllic, idyllic farms. Wood is best known for American Gothic. Inspired by these paintings, we're going to create bright chalk pastel landscapes and the layers of hills that give the scene a sense of space. Feel free to add barns, windmills, houses, tractors, hay bales, and I think you're really going to like the way this project turns out, inspired by our artist Grant Wood. So I would start out in the first step, drawing out the landscape, sketching in what you want to be able to create in your work. All right, so I sped up the video quite a bit so that you can see what I'm thinking about as I begin my project. Well, first of all, I'm thinking about putting on layers of color. I started out with my background. You could do blue skies or you can do a sun rising or setting. Really, the choice is up to you. I'm picking out some of my chalk pastels and I'm just layering on the color. I'm placing it on and you can see it's gonna be pretty dusty. I try to alternate fingers when I start putting the chalks onto the paper so that I don't um, smear or mix up too much of the color into each other. So you might want to either wash your hands or get a different finger as you smear on different colors into your project. Um, feel free to focus in on getting down a base color. The cool thing about putting the chalks on top of the pencil line is that you can still see some of your designs in pencil. Take a look at those clouds. You can definitely still see that, especially if your chalk colors are um, done lightly. The uh, couple things I wanna remind you about when you're using chalk. When you use chalk, it is going to be dusty. You can see how some of it is leaving marks on my table. So, you know, when you're using chalk, if you wanna put on a paint apron, you're more than welcome to, just to keep your clothes clean. But also when you're using chalk, some of it's gonna get on your fingers. Some of it is going to get on your hands. But when it does get on your fingers or hands, then you need to use it appropriately. Like think a little bit about when you get your chalks put on, like uh, you don't want to smear it on yourself or anyone else on purpose. I understand sometimes that happens by accident, totally fine. But when you do it on purpose, that is not acceptable. So um, you don't want the consequences if that happens, just don't do it. Second thing too, is because your chalk dust is all over your paper when you're working, um, I encourage you to take it to the garbage can and dump off the extra chalk dust that's on your paper. We don't want to blow it or smear it into the air for others to breathe it. Um, the best part about using these chalks that I just wanted to take a moment and mention is not only can you layer and get your colors put on very quickly, but it also does a nice job smearing and blending and it allows you to put down a base color and put other designs on top. For example, the hay bales that are up in the corner, I put down a base color and then I outlined or overlapped it with a darker color that's a spiral. Look at when I'm adding on to the trees. I'm putting on a base color of a light green and then I'm going to allow this dark green to mix and blend. The other thing that I thought a lot about in this project was shadow. So if you look at those taller trees in the background, I started applying a little bit of shadow into that work. I kind of think about that as well. The shadow is going to be on the opposite side of the sun. So kind of keep in mind where your sun is at and then how you would cast a shadow down um, beyond that. So again, just blending in those colors, filling in those extra white spots, only using one finger at a time. 
makes it a little bit more doable with the chalk dust. Here's the shadow that I was referring to. Placing that on one side, a few details layered on on top to create some texture really makes this project look fun and comes to life. Then I took a little bit of um, an oil past, or excuse me, a chalk pastel and added a few stems or a few branches into my work. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pace just a lot more now that we have a little bit more idea of what I'm looking for. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and continue adding on my colors, putting down my base colors first, and then adding some texture with some of my chalk pastels. I don't really like the way it looks with a solid color, so I added on some of that texture. Lastly, I'm taking a black oil pastel and going over my details and my designs. I really want them to have a sharp, crisp edge, so this is a black oil pastel, separating and dividing up my picture and just giving it a nice, formal look to what I've drawn. Just does a really nice job with those details. Chalk pastels can be super spreadable and um, a little bit messy, so outline. Also add your shadows. Let's make this project look amazing. I think Grant would be very impressed.